So let's talk about coding. So we are starting a new coding course in March, on the first week of March. We started a cohort on the 6th of January, that means two days ago, and we'll do a new one in March. And what do we do here? Well, we essentially help people to learn coding. Yeah? And we focus on what you need to break into the market. Does that mean that breaking into the market is trivial? No, it's not. Does that mean that it's super easy, you're going to get lots of really good offers from the first minute? No. no. But it's doable. It's doable. We've got cases of many students who managed to get a job. And actually, because we've been running Coldery for a couple of years now, some of the guys already started their second job, and they can clearly see how much they progress. So coding is a fantastic career, long term, long term. As we've been discussing, salaries are absolutely fantastic, remote working options, long term. That's not the problem. The problem is getting, breaking the door, yeah? getting the first job. That's a complicated thing. So we, are, we, we understand that, we assume that. And that's why we are trying to help you not only with your coding skills, not only on that, but also to get the job. And how do we help you? So the, the, our coding bootcamp is about coding, of course, but it's also about soft skills. I mean, personally, I've been interviewing more than, I don't know, 150 people in many different countries. So I, I really know the process of hiring a developer. Yeah? So the course is focused on that. From the very first day, we'll be running workshops. And as part of these workshops, we'll focus on common technical interview questions. Yeah? I, I find particularly surprising that many companies ask the same questions on a job interview. It's like, hey, wait a minute. If you know that a company is going to ask you something, why don't you master that answer, right? And people keep struggling with the same questions again and again and again. Anyway, so we focus on, on these things, yeah? Uh, we help you to prepare the CV. We work with your portfolio. So essentially, we, we, we really want to help you to, to get a job, yeah? Um, we're project driven. That means that we don't really believe on the idea of Week number one, let's learn HTML. Week number two, let's learn CSS. No, from the first day, you start building a project. You start creating software, professional-grade software. I'll tell you afterwards what type of software do we build. But that's, that's the main thing, yeah? We're project-driven. And the progress is individual. That's important as well. Our students work with people more skilled than them, less skilled than them. We've got people from different backgrounds, people with some coding experience, people without any coding experience, but that's fine because everybody has ownership on the code they write. So no one is forced to progress at a different rhythm. So you cannot feel behind in that, in that respect. So what else? Play to learn. So we at Codery have created a series of online tools to help not only our students, but also everybody to learn coding. In other words, even if you don't want to join a bootcamp, even if you don't care about what I'm talking now, but you want to learn a bit of coding, you can learn for free using our platform. Yeah? And FYI, thanks to that platform, we are helping other bootcamps, uh, especially bootcamps that work with charities, bootcamps that work with unprivileged groups. So we are helping them thanks to our platform. Um, actually, let me show you. Let me show you just to show you something a bit different. So, once again, you can join that for free. So, even if you don't want to break into the market, if you just want to learn some coding for fun, you will see a play button, you see on top? If you click on the play button, essentially, what you can do, let me show you, is you can do training. You can practice your coding skills. This is mobile friendly to the point that we are releasing the native app for Android towards the end of this month and iOS in spring 2020. So let me ask you something before going into any details. This is obviously a web, yeah? And we are releasing the native app for Android and iOS. Do you think that, how do you think we build the Android and iOS apps? Do you think that we created them from scratch? Or what, what, what approach do you think we follow what Kodri to release these apps? Fantastic, you got it, that's correct, that's correct. Historically speaking, you know that Android, iOS, they are different systems, right? So if you run an app, you build an app natively for any of this, you have to rebuild it 
for the other platform. Yeah? How many times you like it an app about whatever topic, and you realize the app was available for iOS, but you have an Android and vice versa, and you had to wait like eight months until they redevelop it? Not good. Thankfully, today, in 2020, with JavaScript, you can build your stuff once and deploy it everywhere. Actually, if you are curious, I can show you on my real phone because I got it installed here in beta. And without going that far, I can go to Google Chrome and enable what we call the uh, emulator. So if you give me a second, I'll show you this is how our application more or less will look like on a native device. And you can see that even though it's pretty much the same, we are just adapting a bit the user interface to make it finger friendly, if that makes sense, right? So then you can, you know, you can select which language do you want to learn that. Which level? Yeah, we start from the very, 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 very basics and we go crazy with some very complicated questions. Yeah? Uh, so coding is being used by multiple companies. At the moment, it's the most popular coding platform made in Europe. There are, all, there are bigger ones in America, but in Europe, it's the one. And we've been running many events with many developers. Uh, as a reference, in November, we run an international event in four different countries at the same time, UK, Spain, France, and Russia. Uh, we've got about 200 developers fighting or coding together, trying to figure out who was the best developer in that competition. Yeah, that was very fun. That was very, very fun. Um, yeah, so let me go back to desktop just to show you a bit how the platform works. So again, you select your favorite uh, language. Let's talk about JavaScript, for instance, and your level of difficulty. Actually, let me go back to mobile. So here now, once again, let me zoom it a bit more. I'm uh, sorry, just give me a second. Yeah, I'm simulating I'm using my phone. That's not perfect yet, of course, but that's work in progress. So let me refresh, see if I can show you. Here you go. So, for instance, let's do a bit of a strings. So, the way this works is imagine this is your smartphone, right? You can in landscape mode, but it can work in portrait, it doesn't really matter. So, we present you a problem, get a welcome message. You see? And we present you the algorithm. Here we are telling you, hey, Mr. Developer or Miss Developer, please create a JavaScript function called get welcome message. So whenever we call it, you should return welcome to JavaScript. So that's the way our students learn JavaScript. And now what? Well, you tell me, what's the right option, A or B? B, A, all right, let's select A. It doesn't work. The what? Exclamation mark. That's correct. Coding is about details, guys. So we focus on that. You learn many things by accident in the bootcamp. All right, so let's select option B, and then we got confetti time. It's interesting. Last year, we had some discussions with some investors. They want to invest in Coding. And you could be talking about all the technology, the cloud, blah, 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 blah. And essentially, they just focus on the confetti. That's the way the business works, right? I cannot argue that. Anyway, so the way this works is for every topic about coding, you will get five questions. So this is two out of five. Let's do that one, and then we'll, we'll, we'll do something else. So in this particular example, get welcome message, Peter. Yeah? We combine string, hello, it's like a static text, with a variable, depending on the user. Yeah? Hello, Peter. Hello, Mary. Hello, Anthony, whatever. So back to the code. What's the right answer, A or B, and why? B, A? <laughs> One or the other, right? Why A, why B? Ah, that's a good question. Is JavaScript case sensitive? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, right? So if I select the right option, then we got confetti, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, five questions. What happened at the end of the exercise?
Uh, here you go, it works. All right, so yeah, as I was saying, um, we learned how to deploy the apps to the cloud. Uh, have you heard about Heroku, for instance? No, so Heroku is a very famous cloud provider. Just with a couple of clicks, you've got your app working locally, and then you deploy it to the cloud. Deploy it to the cloud means it's available to everybody. You've got a URL, HTTP, mysexywebsite.com, right? So then you can share it with colleagues, family, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, we, we learn all these things. Essentially, you learn how to build an app. That's it, right? What do you do with that knowledge? That's up to you. What else we do? Team apps, that's very important. On the full-time plan, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So we build two apps. First of all, Conflicts, okay? And then we build the team app. The team app is, you will be part of a team of four or five people, and then you will decide what you want to build. So you've got a lot of freedom to build something that motivates you. And that has proved to be a fantastic way of um, boosting your know-how because you do whatever you want with our help, of course. Yeah? Team apps. And it wouldn't be the first time, by the way, that a team app that has been built here has continued being developed. For instance, I'll give you an example. So one of the teams in the past, they built an app to book, uh, to book rooms. You know, a working space, you can book a meeting room, blah, blah, blah. So they build a prototype here during four weeks, and the building, they like the idea, and they continue working, uh, they got paid. It was a bit low salary, to be honest, but you know, that's commercial experience, hello, that's fantastic, right? So yeah, this type of things. We, of course, it goes without saying, we work with things like GitHub on the first day. So you learn by accident how to deploy the code to the cloud. We work with things like Slack, you know Slack? Slack is the de facto messaging platform, like WhatsApp for companies. You may not even know what Slack is or why that's important, but you're going to learn it. It feels very weird when you interview a junior developer and you ask, you know Slack? And he or she tells you, no, I never heard of that. Like, oh, that's weird, right? Because you are supposed to know these things that go beyond the scope of coding if you want to break into IT. Have you seen that corner with posits? Is that any familiar to any of you? Kanban, fantastic. That's the perfect one. You got the job. Kanban, yes. You so, <laughs> brilliant. You get two pizzas, exactly. So Kanban, that's the way this is about Agile. I'm sure you have heard of Agile. Agile is the new way, not new, it's like 10 years now. But Agile is like the new way of organizing your teams. Every single software company in the world today follows Agile. Okay? It's incredible. Uh, I did say this morning, one of the students who is coming from another bootcamp uh, told me, i never seen that. We didn't do that in the, the bootcamp. Like, how come you didn't do that? That's obvious. It feels, I will never hire a developer without agile experience, yeah? Because that's fundamental. That's the way you interact with your colleagues, the way you serve your state, the way, the way you get help. It's pretty basic, but important, right? So, of course, we follow uh, agile. And as you may have noticed, on the other side, we've got a couple of whiteboards. So, every week here, we run whiteboard challenges. What that means? If you go to a job interview, on top of the technical test, on top of blah, 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 at some point, you'll be invited to go to the offices. And they will present you an algorithm. It could be on the computer, or it could be on a whiteboard. And then the goal will be just to have a chat about that. They don't want really to find if you understand that or not. They want to see how do you express, how do you react, how do you, you know, what do you think about it? And that seems easy, but it's not that simple. Uh, because many developers, they look at the board and they say, yeah, 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 that becomes, yeah, 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 it works. No, that's not what we want. We want to evaluate your ability to communicate, to share ideas with colleagues. Okay? Why work challenges? We do once a week. And what else? Call the platform. I already show you that. Um, so, of course, the preparation for that, which is the most complicated. You can learn coding following different paths. You can learn online. The problem with learning online is, I think it's great at the beginning, when you start learning by yourself, everything is good. But once you start struggling, because it's just a matter of time you struggle. I've been coding for 20 years, I'm still struggling with some, aspect, with some aspect of coding. Then what, what do you do? Who is helping you? It's a bit complicated. Yeah. Um, yep, so let's talk about our plans. Pizza coming in 15 minutes, by the way. So, first of all, the most popular one, that's, that's, that's the obvious, right? This is a full-time plan. That's Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, 8 weeks. 
I know some people are still here, but I'm working. I cannot be here 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. Life is about decisions. You put the numbers, and it's up to you, right? Um, on top of this plan, we also got the online plan. To be honest, this doesn't really apply or to me. I don't like to recommend that plan to students based in London. Uh, because, I mean, if you're based in London, there is no difference. It's still 9 to 5, you join from home. This, is, this works better with the students based in different locations. You've got the students based in, in Italy, in France, in Germany sometimes. If that's, if, it's, if that's either that or nothing, that's fine. But if you can be here, I always like that sort of face-to-face -face feeling. When you have a problem, I can help you. Or if you don't know how to do something, we can work together, right? And finally, we've got the evening plan. This is a mini bootcamp, mini bootcamp, two days a week, five hours, two and a half hours every Monday, two and a half hours every Thursday, the weeks, where we only do code flips. So you learn coding, yes, but we don't help you to get a job. That's important. So if you want to learn code for fun, if you just want to see what coding can offer you, that's great. That's it. And as promised, by the first time we got a data science course. Yeah? We'll be talking about Python on a separate course. It will be only four sessions during April. Yeah? Something new, we've never done that, but we are obviously already preparing it. So if you're interested in data science, machine learning, all these type of things, you got it. There are many testimonials on the website. So this, for instance, this guy is working, that's the guy that is working for Sky TV. He had literally no coding experience came from a financial background, and now working since this summer for Sky TV. This lady, she's now running on her second job. She's has been working from Miami. So you know, we have many, many cases of students. Once again, I don't want to send an over-optimistic message. Like if you come here five days a week, you will become a superstar of coding. It's not that simple, but it's definitely doable. And that's pretty much it. I mean, if any of you is interested before it's too late, you get a link to book your place where you can fill all your basic details and we'll contact you.